Hi. Now for the last part, d, we've got to find the variance of 1 minus 3x for this discrete random variable x which has this probability function. And we've already seen in earlier parts that the distribution function for x is given by this table here and we found that k was 1 sixth. Now when it comes to finding the variance of 1 minus 3x, we build this up from this result, which you should be familiar with. The variance of, say, a constant plus or minus another constant times a random variable x is exactly the same as the variance of the constant, which is always zero, so we can neglect that. And then when you have plus or minus, we just ignore that. It becomes essentially a plus and then we just have b squared times the variance of your random variable. So it is b squared times the variance of x. So you should be familiar with this result. Let's just put a box around it. So do try and learn that result. Okay, now that means that if we are finding the variance of 1 minus 3x, then the variance of 1 minus 3x is just the same as the variance of 1, which is the variance of a constant, that's 0. And then we just change the minus to a plus. Plus or minus here, it makes no difference. We just square this value of 3, so that's going to be 3 squared. In other words, 9 times the variance of x. The question is, though, what is the variance of x? Well, the variance of x again is a formula that you should be familiar with. The variance of random variable x is always equal to e of x squared minus e of x all squared. Now we've got e of x squared. In the previous part we were asked to show that e of x squared was 4 thirds, so that's going to be 4 thirds. And we also had to find out what e of x was. Well, in part b, we found out that e of x was minus a third. So we've got this minus here, and then we've got minus a third squared. So that comes out as four thirds minus that minus there, and then minus a third squared is one ninth. So four thirds is 12 ninths, take away another ninth, and that's going to leave us with 11 ninths. So we can put this over here into this formula. So we've got 9 times the variance of x, which is 9 times 11 ninths. And if we do 9 times 11 ninths, those 9's cancel one another out, just leaving us with 11. OK, so there you go. There's the variance of 1 minus 3x. And if you want to see any of the other parts of this question, just make sure you're looking on my website and you will be able to page back if you're looking at this question, back to the other questions.